Let's skip problems and raise hands and get more math. When skips are enabled, students will see the number of skips available to them on the left side of their screen. Students should only skip problems when they are stuck and don't have access to help. By skipping a problem, the skill is removed from the practice session until the next time they log in. This is visually represented by the square turning gray. That skill will remain grayed out and dollar signs will not appear on the skill until the next time the student logs in, allowing them to access help when the teacher is available. We know that students often forget why they skipped a problem or what problem it was that they skipped. So have your students take a screenshot or write down the problem before they skip it. That way, when they're back in class, they can show you the screenshot and you can work through it together. Skips are only available to your students when they're in mixed review. To adjust skips and their availability, head to the settings menu for the class in question. You'll see a toggle switch that is defaulted to off that says students can skip when teacher is online. This means that skips are only available when the teacher is not logged in. Feel free to toggle this switch if you'd like to change that setting. You'll also see that the default number of skips is set to 3. We recommend keeping this number low, but adjust as you see fit. Ideally, when your students need help, they don't simply skip the problems, but they ask for help and they get the assistance they need. This is why we have the hands raised feature. When your student is struggling with a selected problem, they can click the digital hand in the top right of their dashboard. This will alert you that they need help with the selected skill. This notification will appear on the current status screen as a little hand with a number by it on that student's row. The number indicates the order in which that student has asked for help. You can then click on the hand to view the problem and see the expected answer. You can provide assistance and click the X to clear the request for help. The order will now adjust so that you are set up and ready to help the next student. Just like with skips, you can head over to the settings menu to make changes. To locate the option to allow students to ask for help, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Notice the toggle switch is turned on by default. Toggle the switch off if you'd like to remove the hand, preventing your students from asking for help while they're logged on.